I try to bring it back to a thousand as quickly as possible. But as it warms up, it'll start climbing. So you just gotta watch your RPM a little bit. Okay, so one of the greatest things about owning an airplane is time, freedom. That's really the reason you buy an airplane. You buy an airplane to uh, allow you to do more with less. Uh, today, uh, it just so happens that we're using it for our enjoyment. An associate of mine called and um, has tickets to the Honda Classic. So uh, we're taking the plane down there. And um, the total time from here to West Palm is about 56 minutes, but I gotta make a stop and Fort Pierce to pick him up. But this is kind of to me like driving across town. What would be driving across town to most people is me going to South Florida. So um, that's on the docket for today. And uh, I do have a board meeting this morning with one of my uh, organizations is a state funded organization for second stage businesses. We've got a board meeting today and uh, then we're gonna get in the plane and head to West Palm. So, uh, on the way to the hangar, it, <laughs> I mean, this is probably per gonna be perfect timing because right now, as you can see, a lot of fog out here. Um, this will hopefully burn off. In fact, I know it'll burn off. I can actually see the sun popping through the clouds over there. So this should all burn off. And uh, looking above that, I don't see a cloud in the sky. I think it's gonna be a great day for the Honda Classic. So, plus a great flight. So this will be the first time this particular gentleman has flown with me. I bought the airplane really to, to give me flexibility, give me flexibility in my time um, to expand my day out. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna waste a whole day driving to West Palm Beach. It, it'll t it would take me two and a half, three hours to get there one way and back. So that's six hours in the car that I could spend on the ground with clients, with associates, or just, you know, with family. So it really, to me, it's like the ultimate time machine. I mean, you, you pick up a lot of excess time that you're spent like this, driving around in a car. Um, this fog is gonna lift. And there is that sun, woo. There it is, beaming through from the east. You can just see it cooking off this fog as it comes up. Of course, this is the other good news about seeing the fog is, you know, this is, uh, I'm sure, remember from your pilot, uh, Britain, this is radiation fog. This is caused by the ground, by, the, by very moist air over the ground here in Florida. So this is pretty typical for this time of year to get this kind of fog. So uh, we are on our way heading to the hangar and I'm gonna take my board meeting call from the hangar while I get the plane set up. So kind of uh, be doing double duty here as uh, I attend my board meeting. So because it's all Zoom, uh, makes it easier and I don't have to go anywhere. Just call in. So, great morning. Should be a great flight. On to Classic. Here we come. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. 
From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the Southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, welcome aboard. We're heading to uh, the Honda Classic down at West Palm today. So first stop is to pick up a passenger in uh, Fort Pierce and then we move on to uh, uh, North Palm Beach Airport. Now Lear 918 Echo Golf information. Let's yeah. call it up. Our Romeo Mike Golf 35-3, yes sir. Okay. Rush hour here at Sanford. Everybody wants ground. What direction? Okay, we want 5,500 feet. 324, Stanford ground, maintain VFR below 1,500, departure frequency 135.3, Fox 0337. It's too Three twenty four reject is correct. Fifty three twenty two oh, you're gonna geez. be behind the uh seminal. Uh just off your right, Rowing nine hundred left at Bravo two taxi of Bravo two. Now it's at Bravo two, taxi Bravo two, and we will go right behind that seminal to out of three. November uh November seven three one Julia Hotel at Spot Eight with India. 1031 Julia Hotel, Stanford Tower, stay in tension, sir. I look for VFR departure flight 5500 to Kilo Foxtrot Papa uh, Romeo. Uh, that should be Treasure Coast. And we have a new. Uh, what type aircraft and what altitude? Uh, 5500 uh, is what we're looking for, VFR. And this is a Cirrus SR 22. Area 731 Julie Hotel, on departure maintain VFR, out of below 1,500, departure frequency 135.3, squawk 6272. Okay, out of below 1,500, 135.3 for a frequency, 6272 for a transponder, 731 Julie Hotel. When Julie Hotel, Rebecca is correct, and uh, are you ready to taxi information India is current? And as affirmative, we have India. Ready to taxi. Uh, one Julia Hotel. Uh, Roger. And uh, runway 9 or 8 taxi via Sierra 3 Sierra. You'll be behind the Cessna. Okay, 9 right via Sierra 3 C, uh, Sierra, and we see the Cessna. 7 through 1 Julia Hotel. Number 1 now, thank you. Clear, stand by, and I have a full length clearance for you, so if I'm ready for that. Uh, yeah, we're ready for uh, for five off five. Right, give me a second. Regent, how much longer are you going to be on Charlie there? Uh, we're we're rolling right now, so. Thank you. Thank you. Like three twenty four, you ready to taxi it? Like three twenty four, spot five, right? Roger one, so. Like three twenty four, Roger. Runway nine right center. Three twenty four, Roger. Like three twenty four, Roger. Runway nine right center. Uh, uh, if you can come out to spot two, that'd be awesome. Kilo Bravo, Lima, hold short nine center. It is busy today. A lot of airplanes out here. Thank you, just a little uh, clog up there. And for those of you who don't know, Sanford is a training school, L3. And that's what you're hearing on the radio. And you're behind the Cirrus there. You're going to be uh, Sierra. Romeo, hold short of Charlie. Cross runway 18 at Sierra. Sierra, cross. Eight, Romeo, hold short, Charlie, behind that Sierra. Expect 318. Slayer 515, uh, right here I got a full, are you still ready to copy your clearance? 
Yeah, go on for Flair 515. Flair 515, you're clear to the Charlie Yankee Kilo Foxtrot Airport. Be the Sanford 1 departure. Radar vectors to Worm, Guano, Bikini, FIAP, UT. Then it's filed. Departure frequency 135.3. Fuck 7327. If you need any spelling, let me know. Active Phoenix, so multiple, like I said, uh, so Sanford 1, Spitter, Vectors to Worm, and then. Busy, the busy, worm, busy so. today. After Worm, it's gonna be Guano, Golf, Uniform, Alpha November, Oscar, Bikini, Bravo, Kilo, Echo, November, India, uh, Biap, Victor, India, Yankee, Alpha, Papa, UT, which is, uh, Yankee, Uniform, Tango, Echo, Echo, then it's up. This, guy, this guy's busy okay, today. Third, uh, Stanford one, uh, radar vectors to worm, guano, bikini, uh, dry up, and QT, and then as wild and uh, chocolate. That's quite 7327. And 7327, thanks to Player 515. Player 515. Okay, so we got a tower loaded up into the top, so we're going to push Mike for the top radio. And we'll swap the FR on the outbound. And we got our flaps on, we're going to fuel on, we got a rich. We got our cameras on, we are prepared, we're going to go ahead and move the tank to the left side. Because we want to make sure we got full fuel flow. Which we do. And we got our... Bucky 542, change your runway 90 center, runway 90 center, clear to end. Change your runway 90 center, clear to end. Tower 731, Jewel Hotel, hold right. I sent through one Juliet Hotel, stand to tower as your hold short, I'm going to right. Holding short, uh, through one Juliet Hotel. Okay, 5358, exit Romeo, grab the ground. The ground of Romeo, 5358. I just love this. This cheat here tells you where you're at. Okay, doors are shut. We're trimmed down. Ready to roll. Passengers waiting. 7550, contact ground. Hold short, runway 9 center. Hold short, runway 9 center, contact ground. We'll want to push to the top 50. Exit 234, runway 9 left, that Bravo 2, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 9 left, exit 234. Set our altitude, let's set our heading to Niner. That's the runway we're on. Yeah, we got Lucky 693, holding short nine left, throw two, ready for departure. Lucky 693, stand for tire ride your hold short, runway 9 left. Hold short nine left, Lucky 693. Okay, so it's actually 965. Lucky 324 is the same. Real picky. Call it. We can call it 6. Right. Right. Okay, as usual, we are with... Thank you. Please carry your discretion. Runway 9 or left. Clear for the option. You've got the way care of the departure challenger. Let's clear for the option, but it's declined to land. This guy bounced once. I said 234. Flight heading 080. Contact one later departure. 080. That was literally a touch and go. He touched and he went. Tower Bucky 540 going around right away. Bucky 540, you're after make right traffic. There comes us. I hope. Let's see if he clears us. That's a slow Cherokee. I'll be on him in no time. He's probably giving him room. Step tower, Bucky 322, number two, long short, nine left, round two, ready for departure. Togo, Togo on. So I got flight director on. Bucky 539, uh, descend past Really down handy down to down have down. in this airplane. We are getting held up by Bucky. That's the L3 Harris School. 
They are really holding us up today. Welcome to Sanford. Exit right at Romeo Contact Ground. Here at 731 Julian Hotel, Railway 9 arrives, line up and wait. Traffic is a Archer on the right that way. Okay, 731 Julian Hotel, line up and wait for the traffic. Bucky 540, traffic holding a position, Roman 9 arrives at the Sierra. We also traffic is at Bucky 540. Bucky 690, get our rear end out there. Two, clear for takeoff. Flat runway heading. Clear right, off. Let's go with two, clear for takeoff. Bucky 690, and we'll just center it up and get ready. We definitely don't want to go too far behind him, because I'm in a very fast plane. Here at 731 Juliet Hotel, fly runway heading, runway 9 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 9 right, 731 Juliet Hotel. Thousand one, thousand two, one thousand three. Three twenty-two, runway Niner Center. You're clear for takeoff. Fly runway header. Let's go engine. We're clear for fucking three. And gauges are in the green. Fucking three twenty-two. We have our speed. Niner Culture, runway Niner left. Roger that. There is Niner left. Fucking three twenty-two. A little bit of a wind. Three twenty-four. Side here. Clear for takeoff. Positive right. Relapse up. She took off good. Short Okay, so we're just gonna fly. 540. Negative crew will do just normal landing. Fucky 540. Fucky 540, runway 9 right, clear for the action. Runway 9 right, clear for the action. Fucky 311, request pull stop. Fucky 311, roger, have your request. 731 Juliet Hotel, traffic off your right wing there is a set center right cross one. 731 Juliet Hotel, we see the traffic. Bucky 693, turn left heading 050. 050, Bucky 693. 731 Juliet Hotel, turn right heading 110. Right to 110, 731 Juliet Hotel. Bucky 693, contact Orlando departure. Orlando departure, Bucky 693. 731 Juliet Hotel, contact Orlando departure, yes. Yeah. Orlando, see ya. Sanford Tower, Hudson, C-Flight 2 is again. 3 out of Sanford, 1,000. Bucky, 693, a letter of Archer, radar contact, climb, maintain 5,000. Up to 5,000, Bucky, 693. Letter of Archer, 731, Juliet Hotel, off Sanford, uh, 1,200. Sierra 731, Juliet Hotel, letter of Archer, Hudson. 731, there's a flash. Never a 731, Juliet Hotel, your radar. Contact three miles east of Sanford Airport, altitude indicates 1,500. Proceed on course to Fort Pierce, clear to the Bravo airspace, climbing 5,500. Okay, clear to the Bravo, 5,500, 731, Juliet Hotel. Alrighty, that was a piece of cake there. So let's go back to our home page. Bucky 693, clear direct. Uh, well, it's a flight plan. Eyes are you up, warm, is there a bunch of 693, clear direct? Direct. Enter. Activate. Warm, let's respirate. And then we're gonna go now. Okay, direct geyser, then direct room, let's respirate. How's that? Bucky 693. And we are gonna find ourselves a hole to go through. that first altitude select then flight level change and we're just going to climb at a leisurely 120. we need to find a hole i hold this health altitude deal here so we'd be looking for a hole Sky Hawk 219 is still at 2,000 feet. What's the request? Sky 219 is still at 2,000 feet. Orlando approach. Reset transponder. Squad 0336. Good morning. 
Your radar contact 10 miles south of Pop Airport, altitude indicates 2000. We just need to find ourselves a hole. There are two and under starting off contact Orlando 119.4194, and just let them know you have uh, information coming back when you check on. Contact uh, 119.4219. There's a hole. Now we're talking. Slucky 324, radar contact, four miles east of Sanford Airport, altitude indicates 1,600. Resume on navigation to the southeast. Maintain VFR outside of the class Bravo airspace, altitude at your discretion. Uh, departure Bucky 322, heading 050, climbing to 1,000 Bucky 322, landed departure, I doubt. I doubt, Bucky 322. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. 22 radar contact, one mile northeast, Sanford Airport, out to 1,100. Get above these tops. Maintain VFR outside of the Bravo, out to your discretion. Bucky 322, repeat that, please. Bucky 322, resume the navigation to the north, maintain the VFR outside of the Bravo, I'll take your discretion. There it is. Uh, all navigation to the north and I'll take my discretion, Bucky 322, outside of the Bravo. Once we cross this cloud here, 